Hello, hello, good evening, Gabriel. Your microphone, Gabriel. Hi, teacher, good evening. Sorry. Good evening, how are you? Um, fine, fine. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Me he olvidado como es un poco sordo todavía, pero ahí vamos. How was your day? Um, um, Did my, you have a good day? My, uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of work. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's Thursday. I mean, tomorrow is Friday. The week all is almost finished. Right? That's the terminamos. The week is almost finished. That's the terminamos in the moment. Oh, yes, yeah. When we finish it? 29. Oh, 29. Yeah. 20, oh, okay. Finish 29. Yeah, the, 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 it's almost done. That's it, Jacobo. Yeah. And it's good to have you here, mister. Nice having you here, actually. Bueno tenerlo por acá. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Today Thank I'm going to be sending extra information. Like links. So you can look for extra information. Okay. Because today we have a very big, big. I mean, I have a presentation. I have a presentation for you, but it's a big one. Because today we are going to work with medicine. Well, with idioms. Vamos a trabajar con idioms. Okay. And idioms is something very, very interesting, actually. But it's going to be fun. Gabriel, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Okay, thank you. Say. Antonio. Hello, Antonio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, How are you, my friend? I am stressful, teacher. Stress. I am stressed. Yes, I. Why are you stressful? Mm, maybe for a lot of work. Oh, really? Yes, for the same routine. I don't know. Maybe I need to go to. In your vacation. Special place, yes, and, and lost and get lost. Yeah, you know, once yes, in a while, you. that's good. Now it's a tiempo bueno. I mean, it's mandatory, yes. and you need to to let some stuff. I have, off. I have, yes, and and also I have, I have. Uh, try to, uh, to sleep before the class, but oh, really? I can't. I didn't can't. Mm. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I teacher. couldn't. Yeah, yeah. I understand you. Well, you know, I am like that. I cannot sleep in, during the day. Yes, it's difficult. For, yeah, for me it's very very difficult. It, it is a little hot right now. Yeah. yeah. Here in, in Sacatecoluca, always is hot. Well, yeah. Where you live, yeah. all the time it's hot. I yeah, was about near, to tell you that. It's near to San Miguel. Yeah. To Zulutan or Zulutan is there. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I have a friend. I have a friend who lives by San Marcos. Man, it's hot. 
Yes, it's, it's a little near to Zacateco, Lucas. Yeah, but it's hot, terribly hot. Have you ever visited your friend? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have gone and stayed there, but I cannot sleep. I mean, for oh, okay. me, it's impossible to sleep there. I'm sorry, teacher. It's yeah, difficult. I, I no, it's terrible. Yes. Yeah, but I hear. I hear. Um, Good to have you here in class, my friend. Yes, teacher. Welcome to the class, Anthony. Thank you, teacher. No, oh, thanks to you for being here. Let's see who else is around. Uh, Oscar, hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Right. How was your at day? Home. At home? Uh, yeah, home. My day and is. How was your day? Yes, tell me, tell me. My day is very, very busy. Very busy? Yeah. But yeah, I understand you. I mean, it's that's yeah. normal, you know. And this part of the year is like that, almost all companies, right? Yeah. Normally, uh, at my work, at my job, it is the Monday at um, uh, Friday is very busy. Oh, really? Yeah. So tomorrow you expect a heavy day at work. Yeah. But tomorrow is uh, uh, mass thank you, Vivi. But oh, uh, really? today finish the uh, exportation, exportation. Um, yeah. tomorrow is, is less. That's going to be an easy day. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So glad to hear it. But uh, tomorrow is uh, only the hill report. Um, the the whole day, the Monday, uh, a Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. From Monday to Thursday. Yeah, a report. Um, um, him, right on him, uh, uh, and computer. Too. Okay. Nice, nice. Oscar, nice talking to you. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Tess. Oh, thanks to you and welcome. Let's see. Uh, uh, Magdaleno, hello, how are you? Oh, Magdaleno is getting ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, I am just, no, I am right, ready. He's right. <laughs> and I don't know what is. Just a listo. I am, I am just ready. I'm just ready. He's right. Okay, I'm just ready. I'm expecting for the topic for today. I read about uh, idioms. I am expecting the, the idioms meaning. Meanings, the idioms meaning. ah. meanings. Yeah, idioms are nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting that. Idioms are nice. The only thing that you need to remember that uh, they are, I mean, something different mm -hmm. yes right you can you can you can say something and the other the other person understand understand other things yeah 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 that's right yeah i mean 
it's just that Muslims, as you say, I mean, some of them you really need to 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 know them, to really know them in order to, yeah. to understand the, the the meaning. Otherwise, it's difficult. But it's nice. I got a bunch of them. I got a lot of them for tonight, so you can you can have fun with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I right. mean, and they are nice because, I mean, people speak like that. People use them. Yeah, something, something one, one, one friend of mine tell me one idiom. So, told me? Uh, it's include, I don't remember what, it's include the, the finger, the finger pad of my, at my feet. I don't remember what is that, but is but means uh, I, you are busy. You are busy a lot. And other another other day, um, she tell, she, uh, told she told me other one. It said um, you you. You have is maybe you have so much that you can show that, that you can chew. Oh, <laughs> is you chew more than you can swallow? Oh, is it? <laughs> is that? <laughs> I don't remember what is that. Yeah, you're chewing more than you can swallow. You can, you have. Oh, what is that? You're eating more than you can swallow. Yeah. Uh, hi. In, instead of eating, she said uh, show. Chew. No, no, chew. 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 Uh -huh. She said chew. Yeah, you're chewing you are... more than you can swallow. Yeah, that's right. That was... That was her word. Those, those, That's a nice those. one. Mm -hmm. Right. Isn't it? It is an interesting topic. Yeah, actually, it is quite interesting, actually. Yes. And how is your day, teacher? Uh, well, you look like you look like tired. No, no, it's just that a, 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 um, a relative passed away. You're right. Yeah, my right. aunt. My aunt passed away. So, you know, she was sick and she passed away today. Okay. So... So, uh, uh, actually, to be honest with you, after the class, I am, I am going over there by, by her house to, to, to be with the family. Wow. It's nice to have, to have time with your family. It is really important for them. Okay. Yeah, but notice what I told you, man. I told you that my aunt passed away. Can you read it? No, teacher. I don't. I don't. I don't get you. In the chat soon. The soon passed chat? away. Have yeah. passed away. Died. What it means? Died. No, so so I don't get the idea of this conversation. The, the okay. last yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I, I know. Get. Okay, <laughs> what I mean is this. Ah, oh, wow! <laughs> you get it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the way we say it. In English, I mean, you don't say she's dead. You say, oh, she passed away. Wow. 
that sense right mm -hmm. away el paso a más allá yeah she passed away she passed so, away i understood i understood that that you that you uh, was um, hanging time with your family well yeah i'm gonna go there uh, but <laughs> it's it's something different <laughs> so, it's a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit a yeah. little bit different hey so sorry yeah. teacher ah uh, no problem no problem i mean those are situations where you know families oh families need to stick together stick together yeah what what a stick means the study news mm, stick together okay i take notes about that yeah, i remember together i remember i remember when when my mom died when my when my mom passed away I remember when my mom passed away. It was the first time when all your families or when our our family was got together. Um, ah, yeah, was to get together. Got together. Got together. Uh, it yeah, was the first time since a lot of time. Yeah, that that happens to me actually a lot. I mean, I don't because you know I'm always working, so I don't get to visit a lot of my relatives. So when somebody passes away, that's when I get to see everybody. Yeah, everybody, everybody is in home. It's at yeah, home. Everybody it's gets together. The... Yeah. So... Yeah, but you know, like <sighs> uh, let's see, last year, uh, last year, uh, um, a niece of mine, she mm -hmm. she was a surfer. She was? My niece was a surfer, surfista. And mm, a surfer. Yeah, she got she got struck by a, by a lighting. She got struck by a lighting. Le golpeó un rayo. Hey, hey what's your family? I I read. I know I read this notice. The sort of this news. Who, yeah, this she was news. my niece. She wow, was my niece. Really? Yeah. This worry so, really little. Yeah, it's pretty small, pretty small. <laughs> really small. And, <laughs> and I mean, when we were there, man, there was a bunch of people, a lot of people. But wow. I mean, a lot and all my relatives, so my cousins, my aunt, my uncles, man, it's a big family. Wow. It's uh, this thing, past, uh, como estas cosas pasan? Yeah, these things happen. This thing happened, happened, I forgot happened. Okay, this, this thing happened. When my family yeah. is the, the same story. Maybe maybe with all families, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's normal. That happens a lot that uh, you just get together when something like this happens. Otherwise, I mean, everybody's living their own life. And, and you know, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's normal for you too. It is normal for families or for relatives to drift away. Drift away. Mm -hmm. I mean, because everybody's living their own life. Man, that's okay. That's the way it goes. Yeah, remember, remember all the funeral, all of the funerals that I was ministered, that I was ministry. Yeah. Um, are same. All, all the, the, um, all the relatives, all, ah. Uh, all the dead, dead relatives, and giving 
giving greetings. Hey, long time no see. How are you? Greeting each you other. Doing? Greeting each other. Yeah. Greeting each other. Thank you. Greeting each other. Hey, how are you? Long time no see. What are you doing? What are you did in this in this time? You know, something like that. I remember in, in all of the of the funerals that I was ministering. It's the same story. Mm -hmm. There it is. Well, Magdalena, always nice talking to you. Welcome. <laughs> okay, thank you. I see you. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Carla, hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. How was your day? Um, so so. So so. Okay, why so so? Uh, a lot of work. Uh, we uh, kinder find a uh, dolor de riñón. Oh, kidney. A uh, kidney. Kidney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad, so bad. But let's hope you get better soon. Esperemos que se mejore pronto. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Welcome to the class, Carla. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, let's see. Ivan, hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. How was your day? Today is uh, a lot of war again. <laughs> yeah, all days. Imagine. All days. Um, mm, uh, pero... But um, hay que darle gracias a Dios por el trabajo. How do you say? It? We have to be grateful. Grateful. Great. We have to be grateful. We have to be grateful. For the job. For the job. Sí, este. Eh, hay... Desempleados, este, in, in, yeah, employed, yeah. employed. Unemployed people, unemployed people. Unemployed yeah. people. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. yeah um, today, uh, and the other, the, the other activities, uh, paying, tel follow, paying tele telephone bills. Oh. So, so much. Uh, uh, alrededor de around around uh, around uh, uh, 100 120 29 bills 129 oh. yeah. that's a lot that's a lot sí, sí, sí. Yeah. Aburrido, bo no, aburrido. Boring. Boring, okay. I am boring. Yeah, I don't like uh, activity in my work. <laughs> hmm, I can imagine. <laughs> well, Ivan, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yvette, hello Yvette, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry Yvette, I need to get the attendance because I have forgot. Okay. We will talk in a few seconds. Just let me get, oops, let's see what am I doing? Sorry. Let me get my list ready. Carlos Eduardo Ortega Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Perfecto. Thank you. 
Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Estefan Elisette Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Thank you. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Posales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Echala Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Chemara Elizabeth Tisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Some of your classmates have not come yet. Let's send them a message. Oh my gosh, I got hunger from the university. Terrible, terrible. Let's see. Ivet, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, good. And tell me, how was your day? Um, um today I had um, vacation. Oh, really? Okay, what did you do today on your vacation? Oh, oh repeat, please. What did you do today? Uh, you have vacation. Oh, I, um, I did person personal thing with my mother uh, today. Okay. Um, um, okay, listen, 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 listen. Hold on. You can say it like this, look. I ran some errands with my mom. Ah, okay. I, I ran some errands. errands. With my mom. With my mom. The, the meaning of that to run some errands is like um, hacer mandados. We can say it like that. Ah, okay. Um, um, oh, for um, travel in uh -huh. USA. Um, eh, Fuimos, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se dice fuimos? Fuimos. We o went. la llevamos. Oh, we went en the uh, aeropuerto. Airport. Airport. We went to the airport. airport. Okay. Oh, you went to drop her off or to pick her up. Pero no dejarla o traerla. Uh, dejar. okay, a dejarla. A dejarla, sí. Drop. We went to drop her off. Drop her off, okay. And uh, the other action, la otra acción, is to pick, si es en mi otro lado, sería to pick 
they're up. I'll pick her up. The opposite. Okay. To drop her up, it'll have her. To pick her up, it'll have her. It, uh, drop her, her off. Wow, oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Así que, in that, it's today. That was today for you. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Wow, we're getting a lot of vocabulary. Karen, hello, Karen. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm tired. Tired? Ooh, hi. A lot of work? I had a busy day because I had to go to visit a place in El Boquerón. Oh, really? For an event. For an event, okay. What type of event was that? Part uh, of your job? It's, yes, it's an event that I am planning. Oh, nice. August 24. Yeah, but the problem is that for you it's not fun. For you it's work. Yes. Nah, that's the bad thing. Yes. So it was a heavy day for you. And what about tomorrow? What do you expect for tomorrow? Mm, terrible. Because I am <laughs> <laughs> a lot of meeting. Um, I, I like it. You tell me now today what's heavy and tomorrow terrible. <laughs> we are in a process for hiring an assistant. Uh huh. So I had to check a lot of documents. Okay. Well, ah, that's life. What can we do? Yes. It's like another day, another dollar. <laughs> yes. Falling fall the dollar. <laughs> yeah. All day. Welcome to the class, Karen. Thank you. Maylin, hello, Maylin. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm tired. Tired? Why? Uh, I wake up today at 3, 3 a.m. 3 I woke up. Yes. Um, I, I, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Estuve en reuniones. I, I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting at 8 30. Um, at <laughs> Until noon. Yes. <clears throat> Until noon. Mediodía is like this. Look. Noon. I, I can listen to it. No, it's a complex. No, no lo puedo escuchar bien. Voy de camino a mi casa. Okay. Never mind. We will talk later. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I still got a few minutes. Let's see. Edwin. Edwin Alberto. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. How was your day? Oh, very, very stressful. <laughs> stressful. Stressful. Yeah. Oh, really? I have a. Uh, uh, Take a case very, how do you say, pesado? Heavy. Heavy. Yes. Um, I, in, um, have a, a <clears throat> inventory. Uh, raw materials, uh, um, many, many lots of the, uh, for example, a uh, uh, draw core, 
Okay. Um, labors and, and bueno, entre otras cosas. <laughs> Among but, other things. Okay, yes, um, but Eh, gracias a Dios, pues. Al terminar el día, pues sí. Ok. Yeah. Um, It's the end of the day. You can ahí, relax a little bit. ¿Sabe? Bueno, cansado. Yeah. Uh -huh, pero, bueno. But you can relax. Ok, sí. Ok, well, nice. Nice having you here. Ok. Okay. And Wilfredo, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? How was your day? Bye. Bye, teacher. Okay. What did you do today? It was okay. Okay, where did you go? You're driving, right? Yes, yes. Eh, como, um, re, ya regresé a... Um, como... Al... Predio, ya regresé. Okay, I am back to the lot. I am back to the lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y temprano en casa. Yeah. That's nice. So you drive a regular car, a big truck. What do you drive? ¿Qué conduce? Mm, trailer teacher. I'm sorry? Trailer. Oh, yeah. A semi. That's a semi. Oh, those are, that's big. Yes. That's pretty big. Well, welcome to the class, mister. Thank you, teacher. No, oh, thanks to you. Let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, well. Guys, it's time for me to jump into the next activity. Just let me get something because I got two people that just connected. And before I forget, I'll get those pendant. One is Stephanie and Rosalina Alvarado. Welcome, lady. Well, Welcome all of you guys. And I'm sorry I cannot greet all of you and have the one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know that we are too many and the time allotted to that activity is actually just very, very mean. Actually, I just passed from the table and according to my lesson plan. And now we're gonna go to the first activity. Okay. I got a very, very beautiful couple of questions that we are going to discuss as groups. 
These questions actually are in your manual. The questions are in your manual in page number 33, exercise one. Page 33, exercise one. You got these two questions. Do you often get sick? What are the procedures to report a work absence? Okay. What are the procedures to report a work absence? Work absence, una ausencia de trabajo. But uh, that's very interesting. Because not all companies follow the same procedures, right? So we are going to talk a little bit about that. And I'm gonna send you to working groups. I'm gonna give you just three minutes because you're gonna be working just with pairs. You need to explain to your classmates, how do you do that? How do you report a work absence? In some companies, you just need to call your boss and that's it, right? In some other companies, you need to fill in a report. In some companies, you have to ask for permission beforehand, right? So it depends on where you work. And that's what I want you to do, to share that information with your classmates, okay? And when we come back, I'm going to ask a couple of you about it. So three minutes, let's do it. Hello, guys. Did you finish? Oh, Maylin is on the way, right? Maylin va de camino. I'm going to send you to another group, mister. Ahí estamos, teacher. Ya vamos a terminar.
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Veronica, tell me, how do you report our work absence in your company? Um, if I am in my house and I sick, I have to call to my boss. And then I I have to send a justification for human resource. To human resource. Yes. Okay. Only that. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. What about you, um, Luis Antonio? Sorry, teacher. How do you report uh, work absence in your company? Okay, teacher. I don't get sick often, and but when it happens, I present my certificate of disability to so okay. Ill illness. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, teacher. What about you, Carlos Celibaldo? How do you do it? How do you report a work absence? And the rep, uh, it, it isn't for, for getting the right zone. Uh, for example, pass a, a consulta. Use the invalidated the boleta teacher. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the. Hold on, give me just a second. No, it's, when, yeah, they, but the word that we are looking for is different. It's a, it's a, uh, ah. Hmm. It's a medical certificate. Yeah, medical certification yeah. or medical yeah. certificate. Yes, uh, medical certi certification. And um, they say that the, the Department of Recursos Humanos. Um, human resources. Human resources. Human resources. Oh, so you follow a process. There's a process. Yes. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. Great, 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 great. Okay, guys. Now, I know all of you were doing the exercise, but we need to move on. Okay, we got us here this conversation. Jenny is sick. The situation. Jenny is sick. She calls her boss to explain what the problem is. Listen to your teacher read the conversation. Then practice with a partner. Okay, and the conversation goes as follows. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. I repeat. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. 
Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, guys, and you gotta go practice it. Four minutes for the conversation, okay? And let's go check the groups. Te la comparto. Empiezo yo. Bueno. Good morning. This, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jan. Dog. Okay, I understand. Understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going ar around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Hoy comienzo yo. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reed. Hello. Hello, Mr. Reed. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? Um, I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as, as a dog. Okay, I understand. Today ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. Around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I am. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. Jenny, I hope to see you on Monday. Thank a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Um. De nuevo. Mm -hmm. sí. Okay. You. Bueno, yes. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling great today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling un under the weird too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Okay. So, so. <laughs> See.
Let's see, we're just waiting for your classmates to come back. Okay, let's see. Stephanie and Oscar Armando. Uh, Oscar, you start. Teacher, Stephanie is absent. Okay. No practice. No problem. Oscar, you start. Yeah. I'm going to help you. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip top chef. Take it, take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Shape, okay. shape. Oscar. Okay, thank you very much, Oscar. Ivania thank and you. Luis Antonio. Okay, Luis, you start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling good today. <clears throat> My stomach is killing me. Um, I sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, hey, there's something going around. I hope that you are fine there. Oh, yeah. I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Wade. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Thank you. Antonio Rodas and Veronica. Antonio, you will start. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I, uh, I have sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Perfect. Thank you very much. Magdaleno and Xiomara. Magdaleno, you will start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what is the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Just perfect. Thank you, guys. 
Edwin Alberto and Yvette Figueroa. Okay. Edwin, you will start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's, there's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I I mean tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well done. And Carlos Alivaldo and Ivan Guzman. Uh, Ivan, just start. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Riz. This is Jenny. I have the situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling green today. My stomach is killing me. I ask Chris, I dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? Well, there something going around? I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in TikTok chat. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. There's a lot, Mr. Reeves. Have a nice rest of the day. A nice, a nice rest of the day. A nice rest. Okay. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Karen Beatriz and Carla Lisset. Karen, you start. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Janice. I have a situation. Hi, Janice. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is healing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jani. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mrs. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Okay. Gabriel Beltran and Rosalina. Gabriel, you will start. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I am in tip top shape. Take it is Jenny. I have to see you. I have to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest, rest of the day. Perfect, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Now, uh, Maylene, you ready? I think just teacher. <laughs> okay. Wilfredo? 
Okay, Wilfredo, you start. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jen. Jenny. Jen. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. Killing me. Um, I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am tip top shapes. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Miss. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Ruiz. Have an have a nice rest of the day. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Next activity. Okay, let's see. We're going to work with idioms. What are idioms? Well, idioms. They are phrases which people use in everyday language which do not make sense literally, but we understand what they mean. This is very important. Look, do not make sense literally. No tienen un sentido literal, un significado literal. I'm sorry, guys, before I continue with that, so sorry. I need to get the second attendance. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Thank you, Mr. Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Thank you, Maylin. Thank you, Nelson. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher and driving. Okay, cool, no problem. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, we were here. So, we cannot, they don't make sense literally, but we understand the meaning. That's the main idea, 
Okay, so look, have got a bug. She picked up a bug on holiday. Doctors couldn't diagnose up to now. Okay, a bug is um, a bug, an insect. But she picked up a bug on holiday. Uh, un virus, en este caso. Okay. Doctors couldn't diagnose up to now. You don't know what she's got. She's got a bug. A pain in the neck. He is really annoying. He is a pain in the neck. That's when a person is very problematic. When a person is very problematic, we say that that person is a pain in the neck. Or when doing an activity, perhaps it's something like you don't like. Like for me, let's see, oh, attending meetings. For me, it's a pain in the neck. You know, I hate it. Rip off. Uh, rip off. The food in this restaurant is a rip off. We can't afford the price of them. Look, it's a rip off. Es un robo. Too expensive. Okay? That's a rip off. To pinch. I can find my sandwich. I'm sure my dog pinched it again. Oh, that means that the dog took the sandwich. Offhand. I can answer your question offhand. I have to check my agenda. Okay. This is a little bit different. It's like if you ask me for a word that I don't know or I don't remember. Or you ask me about, uh, you tell me, hey, teacher, when does the next course start? I answer to you, oh, I can answer to you offhand. I need to ask to the administration. You get the meaning? And like in this moment, that's offhand in this case, in this particular situation. Okay, hang on, please hang on a second. I will ask the principal. Okay, that expression, we use it when we are like making a phone call. Don't hang on on me or hey, hang on a second. It's like wait, okay, wait a minute. Hang on. That's the idea. Remember that hang means colgar, right? But hang on means wait. When when uh, uh, are you send telephones? No. When you make a phone call, you say, wait a minute. Ah, o le dice okay. que la persona don't hang on on me no me cuelgue but mm -hmm. there you are being literal ahí estamos siendo literales uh -huh. but imagine that okay Ivan is visiting Magdaleno and I am Magdaleno's secretary okay and you tell me look I need to talk to Mr. Magdaleno and I'm like okay hang on a second I need to go check if he Finish his phone call. Okay. You got it, Ivan? I got it. Perfect. Shortcut. If we take the subway, it will be a shortcut for us and it will save time. Shortcut, atajo. Mm. Does it make sense? Because shortcut. Es un corte pequeño. But in this case, it's a tango. Okay, simials. We make simials by using as, then an adjective, then as, or by using the word like. Okay, selling like hot case. This, uh, 
foods in the countryside are selling like hotcakes. I think you must immediately buy, buy one. It can be whatever, no? These pupusas in the countryside are selling like hotcakes. I think you must immediately buy one. Selling like hotcakes, selling fast. Okay. She doesn't remember what happened exactly. She has got a mind like a sieve. Oh man, when it comes to, to dates and to names, man, I got the mind of a sieve. Cuando se trata de nombres y fechas, I got the mind of a sieve. Yo tengo una mente de esas. I mean, I never remember names or dates. It's hard for me. Believe me, pretty hard. I don't even remember my mama's birthday. <laughs> I am that bad with dates. For real. <laughs> I am that bad. Okay. Questions up to now? Preguntas? No? Cool. Okay. Water under the bridge. This expression is used to refer to something from the past that is no longer important. Okay, so uh, don't worry about it. That problem is water under the bridge. Okay, look at the example. The example says, what's done, it's done. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's all water under the bridge now. Lo que está hecho, está hecho. There's nothing we can do about it. It's all water under the bridge. Ya pasó. That's the idea. Piece of cake. Something that is a piece of cake is very easy to do. The exam was a piece of cake. Yeah, it was very easy. Let the cat out of the bag. Oh, that's to reveal a secret, to tell someone about a secret. We are throwing a party for Michelle tonight, but don't let the cat out of the bag. It's supposed to be a surprise. Look, we are throwing a party for Michelle tonight, but don't let the cat out, out of the bag. It's supposed to be a surprise. Okay. Next one, hit the nail on the hill to describe something perfectly. I think you really hit the nail on the hill when you said that what we are lacking is Confidence and motivation. Hit the nail on the head to describe something perfectly. Look at the example. Okay, next one. You can judge a book by its cover. You can tell what is someone like from their appearance. That's right, that's easy, no? She seems like cold and hard person, but she's very warm and nice. You can judge a book by its cover. Next one. Oh, Magdaleno, you remember? Don't bite off more than you can chew. 
Don't try yes, to I remember. You can do. Hey, teacher, you drag me from the bed right now. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. I am here again. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, let's continue. I think I bit off more than I could chew when I agreed to paint this house by myself. It's more than what I expected. It's something very difficult. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Usted me rasca la espalda y yo le rasco la suya. That makes sense, right? You do me a favor and I will do you a favor in return. You see? Regresar el favor, algo así. ¿no? Yeah. If you lend me the money now, I'll use my contacts to help you get the job you want. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You see? Scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Teacher, uh, uh, yep. this expression is the, this expression, uh, uh, you said, you said uh, all all uh, situations. Yeah. It's like, uh, tú me ayudas, yo te ayudo. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It's como un bicho. Yeah. The, those are idioms. Mm -hmm. And you know, to make bad situation worse by doing something else bad, I'll insult to injury. Look at the poor dog. He has this protector and then the cat step on him. So to add insult to injury, the cat step on him. She arrived an hour late for the dinner party. Then just to add insult to injury, she complained about the food. Can you imagine? The person arrived very late. And instead of being like sad or apologetic, just to add insult to injury, she complained about the food. Terrible, right? Esto sería como... Para colmo, to add insult to injury, para colmo. Okay. Injury, teacher? injury means uh, um, 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 algo que está lastimado. Okay. Remember, you don't need to understand them literally. No hay que entender la literal. You need to get the idea, okay? Once in a blue moon. Very rarely, not very often. With three kids to look after, I only get to go out once in a blue moon. This is this one is very, very common. It's like, uh, you know, uh, Magdalena's got a lot of work. Well, all of you got a lot of work. So I imagine that you go to Paris, guy, once in a blue moon. I am tiempo. Una vez al tiempo, right? That's once in a blue moon. Yeah, I mean, it's like me watching TV. Oh, man, I watch TV once in a blue moon. I never have time for that. I mean, I finish here and I, I'm there to the world. <laughs> Questions up to now? Preguntas? We still got more. Okay, see eye to eye. If two people see eye to eye, they agree on things and see things the same way. Sometimes we fight, but we generally see eye to eye on most things. This one, yes, it exists, but it's not that 
that much use. Okay. Okay. Uh, two kill two bears with one stone. We know that one, right? To manage to do two things at the same time. Kill two birds with one thumb. During the trip to Scotland, I met with my old friends and went to my brother's wedding. I managed to kill two birds with one thumb. You see? I met with my old friends, one, and went to my brother's wedding, two. So I managed to kill two birds with one thumb. Okay, cut corners to do something the easiest, quickest, or cheapest way. Okay, it is not good to cut corners on raw material, right? To cut corners, that's not to take shortcut, most to my attackers. To cut corners, uh, as the example says, it's to do something the easiest, the quickest, after I go de la manera más fácil, rápida, or the cheapest, or la más barata. So it is no good to, to cut corners on raw material. Pero bueno, el hacerlo más barato con la materia prima, right? You are getting perhaps lower quality. I won't cut corners just to save money. I put quality first. The last straw. Okay. The last problem in a series of problems. The last straw. She's always, no. Uh, the last straw. La gota que derramó el vaso. Ah, ya. Ya lo, se acabó la, la, la. La tolerancia, tolerance. Yeah. Okay. She's always been rude to me, but it was the last straw when she started insulting my mother. Ella siempre ha sido muy agresiva con ella. But it was the last straw, pero fue lo último, when she started insulting my mother. You see? It was the last straw. Okay, take what someone said with a pinch of salt. You don't take something very seriously because you don't believe it. You know, Magdalena told me the other day that whenever I tell him good, good morning, he looks up to the sky to verify. He doesn't believe me nothing. Okay, so he takes Whatever I say, él se toma todo lo que yo digo with a pinch of salt. Okay? That expression, with a pinch of salt, means that mm, he doesn't believe it that much. No me cree mucho. You get it? I got it. Okay. I take everything she says with a pinch of salt. She often tells lies. A menudo dice mentira. Next one. Sit on the fence. If someone is sitting on the fence, they don't take sides in an argument or they avoid making decisions. Okay. Look at the example. 
I don't think you can sit on the fence about this problem. You have to tell us what you think. Okay, now, this one with the pass of time has changed a little bit. La misma expresión you can say, I don't think you can sit on on this one. I don't think you can sit on on this one. Sit on. I'm sorry, it should be like this. I don't think you can sit on on this one. You need to take a side. You need to express your opinion. Está cambiado con el paso del tiempo. No decimos sit on the pen. Solamente decimos sit on. Okay? Pero quiere decir, este, you cannot be neutral. No puede ser neutral. You need to take one side. Okay? Questions? Okay. The best of both worlds to take all the advantages of two different situations. She wants to keep her manager's salary, but she doesn't want any of the responsibilities. She wants the best of both worlds, but uh, that is not possible. You see, you want everything good, but you don't want, you want to take the advantage of two different situations, but in this case, you don't want the responsibility. But the idea is this, to take all the advantages of two different situations, the best of both worlds. Pull the wool over someone's eyes to try to trick someone. This one, you can find it on books, but you don't use it that much when speaking. Don't try to pull the wool over her eyes. She's too smart. To trick. Okay. Speaking of the devil. This is something we say when the person we are talking about appear. Oh, we know that one, right? I heard Jessica was going to go to Canada for a year. Speak of the devil. That is Jessica over there. Hi, Jessica. We were just talking about you. Okay, to give someone the cold shoulder, to ignore, to ignore someone or to behave unfriendly without any reason, to give someone the cold shoulder. This one is more British than American. Okay, it is an idiom, but it's more British than American. Those are in Inglaterra than the United States. Okay. I wanted to talk with Morgan, but she was giving me a cold shoulder. Do you know what is wrong? Okay, to have a lot of work to do and to be very busy. Like, man, you know, for next week, I have a lot on my plate. I got meetings, I got to teach a lot of classes, I have to make a lot of reports, and man, all my schedule is going to be very, very busy. So I have a lot on my plate. You got it? I got it. Okay, okay. I know it's a long topic. I know it's a long topic, but I want to give you as many as possible because they're useful, actually. They help. People speak like that. So don't fall asleep on me. No se me duerme. I don't think I will be able to go to the party this Friday because I got a lot on my plate now. Okay, guys. Questions about the, the presentation.
No question, teacher. No questions? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna send the, the presentation to the WhatsApp group. To the WhatsApp group right now. I wanna do it now so you can have it and you can save it. Give me this second. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's go to the manual for guys. Okay. As it was saying, the idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be up in one's ear in work means to have a lot of work. To be what? To be up in one's ear. Oh, I am. Look, I am up to my ears on work. I am up to my ears on work. Estoy aquí de trabajo. That's the idea. Okay. Now, we are going to do one exercise that appears here. Remember, we are in the Insafor manual in page number 34. Okay. As sick as a dog. Under the weather too, there's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Falling sick. Tip top shape. Okay, guys. What you need to do is to get the meaning. Okay. Match the meanings with the idioms in part number four. Then compare with a partner. We are going to do it working in groups of three members. Okay. I'm going to give you five minutes so you can get all of them right here next to their meaning. Okay, groups are created, please. Let's do it. I just sent you to the WhatsApp group yeah, also. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Busy as usual. Oh, at home, finally. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, remember, you need to do the pairing there. Okay, I can hacer match. 
This is very easy because it's from the conversation. Esto está más fácil porque es de la conversación. Okay. What do you mean about? Gabriel, ¿qué, qué, qué opina? Ponemos esa. Como la primera. Ajá, así casa dos. No, me siento como un chucho. <laughs> no, that, uh, the expression, the meaning is that you feel very, very sick. Quiere decir que te sientes súper enfermo. Yes, teacher. Okay. Como chucho. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was bad, Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. That's the funny thing that it doesn't make sense in our language. No tiene sentido en nuestro lenguaje. Because if we try to translate it literally, <laughs> it's like you have a tough like a duck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. If you got a cough like uh -huh. a dog. Cough. Like, as uh -huh. a dog, like as a, a dog. dog. Yeah, it's that awesome. happens to me. That happens to me. <laughs> a mí me pasa. Yes. No, es que yeah, así es verdad. Sí, esa. Ahí sí. <laughs> <laughs> me siento enfermo, muy enfermo. Um, okay, okay. Uh, relax to rest. Take it easy. Eh? Eh, Según el diálogo, relax. No, relax. Take it mm -hmm. easy, relax. Take it easy. Relax. Okay, guys, I'll be relax. back in a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, take it easy, Gabriel. It's not complex. Okay. Agarralo suave, Gabriel. Es complicado. <laughs> Ok, not feeling well, no se está sintiendo bien. No me siento. Mm. Not feeling well, under the weather. Under the weather. Is under the weather or under the weather? Weather. Under the weather. No, it's weather. Under the weather. Under the weather. In great condition. Great, in great condition. Under the weather. Maybe tip top shape. Tip top shape es sentirse mejor. And vamos a ver cómo lo traduce Google. Tip top shape. Uh, tip top shape. Tip top shape. Dice Google lo traduce de la mejor forma. Tip top shape. Um, in this case, mm -hmm. it's in great condition. Google, no, Google, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, to be in tip top right? shape. Yeah, I'm in tip top shape right now. I feel very good. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. there, there is in great condition. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tip top tip. shape. Shape. Tip shape. Tip. Okay. Don't have time to, uh, don't have, um, maybe, hmm, I don't know what is that, uh, can afford. Which one? Okay. Can afford to, oh, 
No me puedo uh -huh. permitir. Afford. ¿Cuál? Number six. Number six. Don't I mm -hmm. have? Can't afford. Can't afford to. Can't afford to. Can't. Can't Can afford to. Number six. Sí. Can't afford to. Can't afford to. Yes, it's correct the pronunciation, teacher. Can't yeah, afford can to. Afford to. Can't afford to. Can't. Can't afford to. Many people have the same thing. Ah, there is something going around. The number three. Eso, como quien dice, anda pegando. Anda pegando. Yeah, exactly like. uh -huh. There is something. There is something going around. There's something. Something around. Yeah, uh, the something other one was going around. Going around. The other one was like that. Uh, like, uh, you know, I cannot afford to 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 waste time tonight. I need to go. Hmm. Whew. Okay. Number call in six. Seven. Call in six. Call in six. Llamar en enfermo. Ilógico. No, reportarse enfermo. Call in sick. Call in sick. Yeah, it doesn't Call. make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Call in sick. Call in sick. I, I have the sense to call sick. O llamar enfermo. Call sick. Okay. Uh, you have all of them, Gabriel. There are some. La tiene todas. No, uh, number one, dijimos. Mm -hmm. uh, my asic as a dog. No, number one is my stomach my is stomach killing me. Killing me. My stomach, stomach. Number two, asic as a dog. Mm -hmm. Number three, the crazy. Take it easy. Easy. Number four, number four. Mm -hmm. There's something going around. Yeah. No, no. Number four is under the weather. Number four under the weather. Aha, uh -huh, is the number two. Uh -huh. Under the weather. Number Two under the weather. No, number four. En la, en la cuatro va a poner under the weather. weather. Esa es la número. Me bien. Hey, esto de can afford to. What's the meaning can afford to, teacher Douglas? Don't have time to. Ah. How is it going, guys? Finish? Finish. Oh, that's great. What is the meaning of can afford to? Don't have time to. 
perfect. Oh, gosh, you're good. I'm sorry, it's just that some groups have not finished yet. So we are going to give them just one more minute. Vamos a dar un minuto a los otros grupos. Hay algunos que todavía les faltan como dos. Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Cinco. Sí. Y la, la cuatro no le hemos puesto nada todavía. La, la cinco la, la tengo con la ocho. Ajá. La cinco en great condition. Correcto. Ajá. Con la ocho. Uh -huh. La seis con la seis. Uh -huh. La siete la con la tres. No have time to. Dicto shape. Dice, can a lot of asfalto. Sí. Y la ocho con la siete. Entonces solo nos sobra la dos. La dos me dice. Ah, pero la dos de dónde es de where to. Ah, correcto. No, no feeling well. No feeling well. No feeling well. No feeling well. Sí, yo creo que. Ah, no, así ah, sí, porque ahí dice. Dice. No me siento bien, dice. Eh, así me sentí yo también, dice. Ah, ok. <risa> ok. <risa> It's okay, teacher. I don't know. We're gonna see in the group. <laughs> True. I thought teacher, yeah. <laughs> I think it's okay. <laughs> under the water, too. También under the water, too. Vaya, entonces sí. Sí, porque ahí, ahí dice the feeling weather, the weather, too, dice. Ajá, sí, oh, así sería. No, 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 Están algo complicadas, Techo. No da much, no da much, no worry, it's easy. Fantastic. The thing is this, that we are, you have been thinking like literally all the time. No hemos acostumbrado debido a que estamos aprendiendo, I mean, we are the beginners, to think literally, a tratar de pensar literal. And in this case, I mean, Idioms are not literal. You need to, I mean, you need to know the meaning, actually. You need to understand it in context. I can tell that in context. That's why it feels a little bit complex. But we are going to do the exercise, and I am sure you're going to feel it simple, very simple. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Okay. Let's see. My stomach hurts badly. Let's see who's gonna help me here. Antonio Rodas, please help me out. The first one, teacher. Yeah. As a sick as a dog. Okay. As sick as a dog. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Okay. Number two, to be very sick. Magdalena, what you got? Okay, teacher, and the number what did you say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, perdón. 
I made a mistake. Okay, number one. Give me just a second, Magdalena. My stomach hurts badly means my stomach is killing me. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. My stomach is killing me. My stomach hurts badly. Number two, my to be very sick, Magdalena. Ah, uh, um, as sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. Thank you. So, number three, uh, Carlos Alivaldo, to relax, to rest. Mm -hmm. okay. they, they eat hygiene. Take it easy. Okay. Yes. Take it easy. Take okay. It easy. Not feeling well, Oscar. Okay, teacher. Not feeling well under the weather too. Under the weather too. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Veronica in great condition. Deep to shade, teacher. Okay. Deep top shade. Excellent. Wilfredo, don't have time to. Under the world too. Number six, number six. Ah, number six. Yep. I guess this is the most difficult one. Creo que esta fue la más difícil. Nosotros lo pusimos under. Okay, don't have time to, no tener tiempo. Can't. And a four, two. Okay. I don't have time to to wait for for Rosalina. Okay. She is late for our appointment. Ella se ha retrasado para una reunión, for a meeting. I don't have time to wait for you, Rosalina. I'm sorry. I can afford to wait for you. You see. So, Rosalina, number seven. Number seven. Many people have the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's something going around. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Tisha. There's something going around. And the last one, to phone the office to say you are sick, that's to call in sick. Call in sick. Okay, guys, questions? No? Perfect. Let me get the final attendance because I know yesterday and today has been a little bit hard, right? Because of the grammar, it's been long explanation, but don't worry. We will have like two classes just of speaking. So let's see. Carlos Eduardo Ortiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Perfect. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Iván Echa Milet Domínguez Hernández. Y Beth Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Verón, Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Hey guys, I send you a I send you a, a link so you can practice the pronunciation of the ED, okay? Check it out. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. No, thank thanks you, to you. Have a good night. night. Take care. Good See night. No, not the same my night. I'm sorry. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Oh, Oscar. Oscar, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I'm doing. My bad. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. I'm here. To... Thank you. I'm so sorry. My apologies. <laughs> no problem. Me disculpas. Teacher, tengo una pregunta sobre... Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Stay, stay, este stay. Más o menos, ¿cuánto tiempo indicó de que se iba a... Uno a dar el tema. Oh, you mean for the final homework? Mm -hmm. Okay, from two to three minutes, it's okay. Two minutes ah. minimum, three max. Ah, okay. Está bien. Gracias. Tres mínimo, cuatro máximo. máximo. No more than that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. Bye. Magdalena, on Monday, uh, I need you to stay after the class, okay? And I have something yeah. prepared for you. It's for the final exam? No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's, it's just that I have 10 minutes with some of you, so I can give you extra info, tips, extra material, oh, okay. or feedback, if there's something that is not clear, okay? It's okay. That is great. Thank you. Okay. Go to sleep, man. You look as I feel. Prior. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Take care. Take care. You're welcome. Yes, Gabriel is left.
Well, time's up. See you tomorrow.